Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a great day. And as always, thank you to everybody that subscribed. I really do appreciate that. Um, so this is a band I have heard of. They're called the Cars. And I particularly remember a track called Drive. I remember a few others that they had in 85, 86. Some really upbeat, interesting, fun tracks. Um, they weren't a comedy band, but I used to love the little stories I used to have in some of those tracks. Uh, I think it was Magic, you might think. I haven't heard them for a long time, but the essence that I, I felt from that was um, they were one of those groups where when it, whenever they had a track, you wanted to get taken a vibe of music and uh, also the lyrics. Um, Heartbeat City, I've never heard of. I think it was probably from a little bit from before they had Drive, I might be wrong. Anyhow, um, sort of look at the stats. So Heartbeat City was taken from um, an album of the same name and that came out in March 1984. Um, wow, okay, so it was their fifth studio album. Come to mention it, um, I do remember they had a couple of tracks in 1979, Just What I Needed, and another one, My Best Friend's Girlfriend or something like that. Um, so yeah, but this is cool, so it's the fifth studio album. Um, the track is called Heartbeat City, it's the last track on side two, for those of you who remember vinyl. Um, heart, the cars consists of Rick Okasek on vocals and guitar, Ben Orr, on vocals and bass, Elliot Easton on guitar and vocals, Greg Hawks on the keys and vocals, David Robinson on drums. So um, the four guys, they all probably have some sort of harmonization going on on this track maybe. This track was written by Rick Okasek, 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 I should say. Um, so yeah, um, I think it's just an audio track only. There was by looks of it, a couple of official videos, but they uh, looked a bit grainy. So I'm going to just go with the audio track and see what it has to offer. So I'm really looking forward to this. Wow, what a new track. Sorry, I'm gonna put it right back to the start. I love, I love that intro bit. Um, felt very atmospheric, and um, I'm just, already I can feel this is this is going to be a really really cool track. It's really atmospheric intro there. Um, I loved the, the very beginning, so I really want to listen to that again. It's like a thunder, electronic thunder.
So I don't usually pause it this much. Um, I just really want to say it's such a, I say beautiful record. Um, it's got a very dreamy, otherworldly quality about it, and I love the sparing use of some instrumentation on this record. It's, it's almost like just sprinklings of sunlight and sunset here and there. Uh, it's just really got a lovely. It feels like a, a type of track I'd listen to during the summer. And it just feels like your favourite memory um, sprinkled with a bit of stardust. It's it's really wonderfully dreamy. I'm going to take that back. I do apologise for pausing it. Um, if I don't get these thoughts out while I refresh my mind, then uh, I'll completely, I'll remember them sort of as I'm arriving at work later on. This golden sun Oh Jackie What took you so long? What took you so long? On just a holiday That was terrific. That was uh, Cars Heartbeat City and I have to say that that has really sparked my day. Uh, that's really made my day. It's such a wonderful record and um, quick, to quickly get my thoughts about how I kind of felt through this record. At, at the beginning I felt there was a warmth and nostalgia, a dreamy nostalgia about um, it felt, and I said it felt summery, and then I think you mentioned holiday, and um, I'm sure you said um, uh, golden sun, another expression. So I, I wasn't far away from maybe what they were thinking about, but yeah, it gave me that, that feeling of summer, but um, and warm nostalgia, and those little moments of, um, of joy with little sprinklings of, of uh, sunshine and, and good company, and then. Um, but then as uh, song progressed, and I don't think there was any dramatic changes, 
there was a little transition halfway through, uh, but I don't think it really transitioned to anything completely different from the beginning. It just had a slightly different feel about it. It felt that the nostalgia and the dreamy qualities were still there, but also there was a slight coldness you get on from like a, it was a, a, a lonely, cold summer's feeling rather than that wolf. Um, so it felt like somebody was living on nostalgia, but maybe um, trying to, hoping that there'll come a day when they get that back, um, they'll get those feelings back. That's, those are the feelings I really can talk from this. I, I haven't really looked at lyrics, but it's maybe about somebody called Jackie and, and he's something specific, perhaps a lover that's left um, or a friend or a relative who you're, it could be about a guy. I mean, I'm not sure about spelling, but um, uh, Jackie could be a guy's name as well. So it could be a friend. Um, but I think it's about um, good times that you've had and you're missing those good times and you're kind of hoping that something will uh, come around again and it's taking too long and yeah, um, but you know, to me just really kind of gave me warm nostalgic feelings for I suppose times when you've had really nice times with friends and stuff. Um, yeah, and, and it makes me want to kind of re... I'm now kind of getting a little bit melancholy about it because um, I'm now thinking of times when I was 16 just hanging out with friends and stuff and in the summer uh, I had a memory flash into my mind halfway through that of, uh, of 1983 when uh, we literally, a few of us, um, you know, maybe three, maybe four, would just walk up the road to where there's like a shopping area and we used to actually just sit on the steps of um of um a, it used to be called a quick save which um is like used to be a a grocery store big grocery store and we used to just sit on the steps of there and um you know just mull away the time just talking rubbish and just taking in you know what's around us um you know, as a kid, you don't, you live in a moment and um, those moments when you get a bit older can feel very sharp and, and warm and, and sometimes a little bit sad that you don't have so many experiences like that now. I think because they were new back then. Um, and yeah, we have these moments, especially when you're young, that we can look back on. Um, I'm probably are completely off on a tangent with this one. But um, yeah, it just brought all those feelings back and particular memories of that time. I mean, I'm talking about 1983, this came out in 1984, which is interesting because in 1984, I was um, getting a little bit older, I was a year older and I sort of changed as a person a little bit because I was now out in the adult world of looking for work. I was on training schemes. Um, and so I was still having fun, but it felt it was like a, a, a step towards adulthood. Um, but I'm going to dive into these lyrics because I, I absolutely loved them. Um, oh, heartbeat city, here we come. And happy days counts on fun. So is that like, you know, it's not like just one big happy holiday, happy times. You know, sometimes it's, you know, maybe one in five or something. I don't know, but it seems like they don't come along that often. Um, nothing really gets us down as long as Jackie's back in town. So there's definitely um, somebody who sparks the party, gets a party going, um, makes the atmosphere happy and those memories really crisp and sharp. I'm glad you made it. I can't complain. Oh, Jackie, what took you so long on just a holiday? Oh, Jackie, um, what took you so long? I thought you knew the way, heartbeat city. The noisy, noisy electric never stops and all you need is what you've got. And there's a place for everyone under heartbeat city's golden sun. Oh, no, Jackie, what took you so back into the, the chorus? You know, I'm glad you made it. I can't complain. I missed you so badly when, when you jumped that train. Um, yeah, and then back into chorus. 
<clears throat> and then there's a bit at the end where a heartbeat city lights at night um, on the out I think it's probably at the outro it's getting closer out of sight heartbeat cities on the loose better catch for blue caboose I don't know what caboose is um, I think this is quite an abstract song which was meant to design to kind of make you feel nostalgic um, about you know if you're listening to this in the 80s you may have been uh, it may have made you feel nostalgic for the 60s not because of the actual music and the synths and all of that it's very much grounded in the 80s but I think just through the sheer feeling of something warm um, golden moments past um, the 70s or 60s it would have you know maybe taken you back and like I said for me it was a sun jump back into 1983 the summer um, lovely warm warmth of that summer listening to the music um, the style council long hot summer um, a bit of madness Robert Plant big lock um, all of those kinds of things that kind of help make up those memories and uh, and yeah definitely the odd moments there's nothing nothing actually um, grandstanding or um, amazing about sitting on the steps of a supermarket on a summer's evening but it's how weird how we remember the most mundane things as, as standing out as being those pure um, happy days that we've lived through it's not always the time that you went to do this or you did that or that happened it sometimes it's the small things um what i really lo also loved about this and i did time stamp this was um, about three minutes 20 in so i just want to go back because there was lots of harmonies and there was a little tiny little bit of harmony that reminded me a little bit of 10 cc for some reason I can't even think if that is harmony or if that's like um, <clears throat> synth, synth sound um, overlaid that it makes it sound like it's um, voices yeah yeah I mean that's definitely uh, that's definitely harmonization and that felt very much like 10 CC And it does give it that very, um, that very, uh, I could give that dreamy vibe to it um, as well. Um, I'm really interested in actually to see what the comments are like, so um, I don't want to string this video out too long, but um, sometimes 792 comments, so some of them are going to be really cool. Uh, this song is a piece of art. I was blessed to see them at Live Aid. They were at Live Aid, wow. Um, I do have tapes from Live Aid that are recorded. On my um, on my boombox back in 1985, um, I'm gonna have to re have to listen to that. Um, incredible, astounding, and heavily underrated song. Um, even better than Drive. Do you know what? Um, even Drive, even though Drive had a twofold effect on me because um, of its use by David Bowie at Live Aid and the drama of the. Uh, I think the video of it, which uh, always makes me tear up a little bit. Um, and I haven't seen that for ages. Um, I might have to revisit that one. But um, yeah, this is definitely a different vibe, but equally as important to me. Uh, it takes me back to 1984. Um, one of the best 80s songs ever. Um, yeah, and it's amazing how these tracks never filter into the UK Top 40. Which was, in a way, that was the beauty of of the US Billboard Hot 100 and the Top 40 up until about 1986, when a crossover became. It's like a bit like a Venn diagram. Um, you've got these two two circles that n that only brush the one being the US uh, Hot 100 and the other one being the UK Top 40, and then kind of slowly, uh, they occasionally they'd they'd overlap and um, in 1983-84 um, they were so distinct that um, you could just about set them apart 
and then gradually 85, 86, they started to overlap and then um, and then they kind of became virtually intertwined with maybe just the little circles around and that that didn't really fit in to the, the Venn diagram of uh, commercial successful music back in those days. Um, a few more. I had a girlfriend named Jackie back in the 80s. We would often drive around in a Cadillac listening to music, including the cars. And of course, this one, that must have been a hell of a memory. Um, Jim Pop song works on several levels. The driving rhythm synths, very spacey, um, as, I said, as I said as well. Um, just no one actually saying what this is about. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, obviously, this meant a lot, lot to a lot of people back in the day, and um, for sure, listening to this now, it felt nostalgic without me actually even knowing the track. Uh, so that's an incredible to actually make you feel nostalgic for a year before this track came out, having not ever heard it before. Um, really, really impressed, massively impressed with this track. It's going to take a lots of listens to this. Um, there's lots going on in it, and I'm going to have to come back and re-listen to it over and over again, I think. Definitely going to be one that I'm going to download at some point. Um, maybe even try and get it on vinyl or something, if that's at all possible. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, have a great day. Please join me in the comments below. I uh, love to read your comments on these things. And if your if your memories are as nostalgic as those comments to this YouTube track, um, YouTube um, subscri subscription, then uh, I would really, really enjoy reading them. Um, because, yeah, it's given me vibes. This one has really, really given me vibes. So... Until next time, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful week.